Hey guys, this is Chris with AO Users. I'm not affiliated with AO or its parent company. Uh, this is going to be the LTE test for the Samsung Galaxy S4 on AO. This is an AT&T Galaxy S4. Uh, one of the things that I learned about AO when I went to a dealer and got an account here in Houston, Texas, is that you don't need to unlock an AT&T device to get working on this network. I am currently an AT&T subscriber. This is on contract. I've taken my sim out and I've placed the AO one in there and you can see it say AO up in the corner AIO right there uh, it's not an acronym uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, AO uh, later but let's focus on the LTE test right here uh, I have what looks like two to three bars it's not really that good of an area uh, for uh, wireless coverage they do say they offer speeds up to 4 megabits per second. I'm going to go ahead and do the speed test. I'm going to do this test uh, with AO, and then I'm going to show you the speeds I get with AT&T. So don't expect them to exactly uh, be the same. Ping time of 289 milliseconds. Now speeds are really bad in this area mainly because of the signal. Um, it's getting 1158 kilobits per second down. And 2496 uh, milliseconds up. Let's look at some of the previous tests that I've done in this area. So I've seen speeds of up to 5,523 kilobits per second uh, down and 4,439 kilobits per second up. Um, I believe these were actually also on AO as well. So look, uh, we have 6,758 kilobits per second down, uh, almost 10,000 kilobits per second up. You can see the ping times are a little bit higher uh, with AO than with my AT&T. Now let's go ahead and switch this out. My Samsung Galaxy S4 does have a Qi charger as you can see. Let's swap out the sims here, get back on my AT&T account. One of the things that I noticed that when I activated this device, it came with a CP message. Uh, it popped up and it could configure the APNs for me. What I did notice though is that my AT&T uh, APNs work fine with this device. If you test it out and you find out that for some reason the APN of uh, AT&T doesn't work as well as the uh, AO APN, please let me know. Uh, now there's a few key elements in there that are same, the same. So I really don't expect it to uh, run any faster with different settings than the AT&T uh, already has. You can see right there, we're connected to AT&T's network. Let's go ahead and let LTE pop up and do the LTE speed test again. So the signal should be the exact same. Let's reload our speed test. And begin. Just to let you know, we are in the Houston market, like I said. We are in uh, Jersey Village, which is uh, northwest Houston, uh, outside Bellway 8, so outside a couple loops. Um, and here you can see that the ping time was 47 milliseconds. Uh, download speed 6,529 kilobits per second. And upload speed of... Two thousand twenty-five kilobits per second. Now I will start performing these tests in different areas as well so you can get an idea of peak uh, throughput. Uh, as you can see inside of Houston with AT&T I've gotten speeds of up to 69,628 kilobits per second down and around 14,701 kilobits per second up. 
So if you want a uh, no contract carrier, uh, prepaid, definitely look into AO. Uh, as the website gets going, uh, we'll be putting more information in there. And when I say we, I actually mean me. And uh, hopefully you guys will uh, join us and post uh, up there and share your comments about uh, AO. So please like this video and subscribe to this channel. It's always viewers like you that help me acquire these devices and be able to perform these tests because I have to pay for it myself. And I'm not in the cellular industry. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.